Rabbi, what, what's going on? You don't celebrate Hanukkah? And this city says, listen, you don't understand. In this city, we have a terrible, terrible thing. There are these very horrible goblins, like these weird creatures, these goblins, and they haunt the whole city. They don't let us celebrate Hanukkah. These goblins? Yeah, they live in the shul, the old shul up on top of the hill. That's where they live. And they, we light a single candle on Hanukkah, they blow it out, they play tricks on us, they don't let us celebrate Hanukkah. He says, that's very sad. Well, I'm here, I'm going to help you. What can I do to help? He says, they said that if a person is able to spend eight nights in that shul where the goblins are living and can celebrate Hanukkah all eight nights, then they'll go away, they'll disappear forever. But I don't think anyone ever wanted to try. They're very scary. He says, I'll try. I'm very brave. So, went to the store. He needed to make an order for a bunch of candles, some potatoes, something to hold the minara together. And he got his supplies all ready. And he went to the shul. He opened up the door. It was still the daytime. He closed the door. He prepared right by the window his minara. And he was waiting, waiting, waiting till it got dark. Well, it got dark. And as he was ready to light the minara, suddenly he heard something right behind him. He turned around, and there was a little goblin with wings and funny horns right behind him. And he said, Hey, what do you think you're doing here? He says, I'm lighting a minara. I'm celebrating Hanukkah. He says, We don't do Hanukkah here. We're going to stop you. Ha, 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 ha. He says, stop me? How can you stop me? You're so small. He says, I'm very tricky. I'm very strong. He says, really? Can you break a rock in your hands? The goblin went, a rock in my hands? Nobody can break a rock in their hands. That's not possible. Nobody's that strong. He says, I am. Show me. He says, sure. He reached into his bag and he pulled out a dirty potato. He says, this is a rock I have over here, and just watch. He takes it and whoosh, breaks it in half, and no, no, no problem, not even breaking a sweat. The goblin said, it's impossible, it's impossible, and he ran away. Herschel lit the match, and he, light, he lit the first candle. And as the candle was burning, he sang himself a little song. And if you know the song, you can sing along with Red Herschel. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Gather round the table, give it a treat. Potatoes to eat, and hot cups to eat. And while we are playing, the candles are burning low. One for each night, they shed as we light to the night. Day. And he went out to the market during the day, he bought himself some food, and especially bought himself a nice jar of pickles. Because he loves pickles. Who doesn't like pickles, right? Oh, he doesn't like pickles. And I don't, I don't even know if goblins like pickles, but we'll see. Well, the sun was ready to set, and he set up his Minerva, all ready to go with two candles on it. And as soon as the darkness came, another goblin, this time a big that goblin walked in. Hey, were you the one who was messing with my brother yesterday? He says, messing? I don't know what you're talking about. He says, yeah, you scared him away. You're not going to scare me away. I'm much stronger and tougher than he is. He says, that's okay. Come and join me. I'm having some dinner. Come and join me. Dinner. Ho oh, oh. I love dinner. What are you having? So I'm having my favorite food. I've never tried a pickle before. Come on over, I'll give you one. Right over here in the jar. Sure, he puts his hand in the jar, oh, gets a pickle. Hey, 
What, what kind of trickery is this? He says, I put on a magic spell. Your hand is stuck in the jar. Hey! He didn't realize he was holding on to the pickle, couldn't get his hand out. He says, let me out of here. I don't want to be stuck in a jar. He says, if you keep bothering me, your whole body's going to be stuck in a jar. He says, Adam, leave me alone, leave me alone. And he flew away. Ha ha. So Grishel struck a match, lit the second Hanukkah candle. And as the candle was burning, he sang himself another song. If you know the song, you can hear, sing along with that Herschel. It drops in an island. 
I made it, I made it out of the play, and when I go and spin it, I'll scare those goblins away. And so, I don't know, something like that, right? Well, this went on for a number of days, went on for, you know, day three, that was day three, then day four came, and the worst goblins came, grade, like, the fifth night came, an like, even worse goblin, the sixth night came, an even worse goblin. But none of the goblins could fool or stop Herschel Ostropol. So you know what happened? Do you know what happened? Who do you think is going to come now? The king. The king of the goblins. The big boss. And the king of the goblins, the seventh night, Herschel set up his candles, didn't know what to expect. And as he was, he was waiting, nobody showed up until suddenly he lit the he started said, okay, no, maybe no one's coming. He lit the candles, the seven candles, just like tonight. And suddenly a gust of wind came, and he heard a voice, and it said, Who dares light a menorah in this, in this shtetl, in this city? If you don't leave this house tomorrow, then you will deal with me, the king of the goblins, and I will stop you. So Herschel was a little bit scared, but you know what he did? Around his seventh candle, which is just like tonight, he took out a sitter. Of course, he did every night, every day, but he took out a sitter, and he started to dive an extra to Hashem. He asked Hashem, please give me help. Make sure that the city is protected from these bad, these bad goblins, to protect them. And night passed, morning came, and Herschel did not leave. Until the next night, he set up all eight candles, ready to go. And he waited until it got really dark, like close to midnight. And the door swung open. And standing there was the king of the goblins. And he said, you may have tricked all seven of my children, of my other little goblins, but I will not be stopped. For I have great power. The Herschel says, great power? What's great power? I can do things better than you. He says, what do you mean you can do things better than me? I am the strongest, the wisest, the greatest goblin of them all. He says, really? He says, you cannot do something that I can do. He says, oh yeah? He says, yeah. He says, look at this. He pulls out a match. He says, I can make fire. The goblin says, are you kidding me? You don't think me, the king of the goblins, can make fire? I will show you fire. And he closed his eyes, the goblin, all of a sudden he burst into flames. And he came back to normal. He said, there, now do you believe I can make fire? And Herschel says, wow, you're absolutely right. You could make fire. But your fire lit my menorah. Thank you very much. <laughs> No! Ah! I lit a menorah, the king of the goblins, how could I do such a thing? And poof! He disappeared, and the light of the menorah overtook the whole house. And the next day the sun shone much brighter, and he came out, and he told the people of that city, you're now safe and sound, nothing to fear from any goblins anymore, and that's the end of the story. Now, that night, <laughs> Herschel sang one more song that I'll sing with you, and it'll end with a, la a final song. And if you know the song, sing along with Herschel. Hanukkah, Hanukkah.
coming to the end of our time together. But I'd like to sing one last song for you. And this song, you know, the Jewish people a long time ago, maybe they didn't deal with Bob, it's like Herschel, right? But we dealt with some pretty nasty people that wanted to stop us from keeping Hanukkah, or even before that, from keeping anything Jewish. You know, old Antiochus came around with his Assyrian Greek army wanted to stop us from keeping Torah and doing mitzvahs and spreading the light of the Torah around the world. And we're not going to let him do that. We're not going to let Antiochus win. But you know what happened a long time ago? Let me tell you about it. Way down in ancient Greece a long time ago, there was a wicked little king who tried to steal the soul. He didn't like Shabbos and he outlawed Chris. Crazy little devil was Antiochus, you know he's gone.